Hey guys, so I'm on day 143 without a wheelchair thanks to um, a flight on October 19th, 2015 that went horribly wrong. VA, British Airways, um, altered the aircraft that the flight was supposed to take and even though they knew I was coming, decided to um, use an aircraft that my wheelchair could not fit onto even though three days before we told them the dimensions of my chair and the entire thing was botched by both the British Airways and London City Airport, who are now blaming each other rather than taking responsibility and fixing the situation. So I'm taken to vlogging about it, about what I've learned, what's happening, what it's like to realize that as a physically disabled person, you can still be discriminated against on the basis of your disability, which has happened here. What's most disturbing about this is under EU Regulation 1107 of 2006, London City Airport is obligated to get me a temporary replacement wheelchair. Actually, they were obligated to do that back on October 19th, and it never happened. Before I left the airport, I told two members of staff at London City Airport, one was named Adriana, one was named Emmanuel, that my chair is broken. And I was told that I could go home and customer service would um, take care of it. And I was told that Adriana was making a note of it in the computer, which I believe she did. Um, and then I was told on the 20th of October on Twitter by a British Airways representative that a note regarding the damage of my chair had indeed been given London City Airport and British Airways were made aware of it. And I was given a reference number, which suddenly has disappeared and now British Airways the London City Airport claimed that I made no um, complaint to them about the damage they done to my chair until much later. And that simply isn't true. We had Twitter responses and reference numbers to prove it. Maybe it's a case of bad bookkeeping, but I did the right thing and I complained at the airport right away. I want to talk again about disability rights and human rights just briefly. Because as I said earlier this week, this is something that we as humans don't seem to be getting right yet. Um, believing that all men are created equal, as we say in America, believing that there is a basic fundamental level of human dignity that all people are afforded. That's not convenient. And frankly, that has never been popular. It wasn't popular for William Wilberforce, who fought to end the slave trade for so long here in England. 
It wasn't popular for Gandhi. It wasn't popular for Martin Luther King. We all would like to think that if we were to go back in time, we would be on the side of justice. But frankly, that's not true. Statistically speaking, the belief that black people were equal, that Indians were equal, that women were equal, that gay people were equal, that didn't come without a lot of fight. And if we were transported back to that time, we wouldn't believe it either. So yeah, you know what? I may look like a crazy YouTuber who rants and complains and you may even call me a whiner because I believe in my rights. But the thing is, um, I do. And I know I'm right. And I'm going to keep telling the truth of this situation until it's made better. And I'm sorry if that makes me look bad. And I'm sorry if that makes you uncomfortable. But disabled people have not had their rights for so long. Simply because they are struggling just to survive. And I'm struggling to survive as well. But I'm well-spoken, I'm well-educated, I have a webcam. And I'm going to keep telling you exactly what it's like to be an educated, well-spoken, hard-working business owner with a disability in 2016. And that might make some people uncomfortable, but it's true.